hopefully by now we all kind of have an idea of how far we're handing, hitting it, kind of a landing spot that we want, and how far we're releasing it. That's another great thing when we're playing, when we're practicing. Go put a, you know, a towel down where you want to land it, right? Mm -hmm. We're not trying to dunk it in the hole every time. <laughs> so go put a towel down where you're landing the ball. Mm -hmm. Go put a towel down and see if you can hit that towel. Gives you a little bit more of a target to focus on. Gives you something to say, rather than just, oh, I kind of want to hit it in that area and let it release. No, go put something out there so you can see it. It's the same with alignment when we get onto the range or even out here, you know, guys, every time I practice, I've got an alignment rod set up. Guys, they get to the range and they're pounding balls and everything's going right and they don't know why and they're trying to change path and all this and it's like, no, you're just aimed right. <laughs> same thing here. Go put something out there. Go put the club in front so you see where your divots are. Use these tools, you know, when you're practicing. It's important, right? Yeah. We can thin them here. We can hit them fast. It doesn't, who cares? It doesn't go towards our handicap. It doesn't go towards a tournament score, right? Right. So do it right. Take your time. Analyze the shots. You know, maybe even write it down. Well, I felt like I was at, you know, it might be a clock. You know, I felt like when I'm hitting my 45-yard shot with my 54-degree wedge, I felt like I was swinging it. Know, what is that nine maybe 9 30 to to 10 o'clock or to two o'clock now you know when you go to the golf course all right 9 30 to 10 o'clock i've got that number 